Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss very interesting problem and the solution is very tricky. I recently learned this trick and I thought I, I will share with everyone. So here is the question. There is a person who performs a task. He performs a task daily, same task he is performing. Some days it is success, some days it is fail. So this is our task, task table and this is our output table. So if you see on first, second, third, it is success, fourth or fifth, it is failed and on the sixth, it is success again. So I want the output in this fashion that when it is success, first to third, to so start it, end it, success. Then fourth, fifth, it is failed. So it is again failed. So in this, in this fashion, in this fashion, I want the output. And then on the sixth, it is success and there is no date after that to six to six, it is success. Okay, so this is how what we have to achieve. So I will put in the description box create table and insert table statement for this table. You can try yourself first and then you can check the solution. So let's see how we can do it. Okay, so this is my task table. Okay, this is how it is. That's what we saw. Okay, so what I'm going to do just just see this video for next five minutes and try to understand what I'm doing. So what we have to do, basically, if you see, we have to grip these three rows together, right? Because in the output, if you see, these three rows are coming together, right? Basically, whatever rows with success are continuous date, we have to group together. Again, for fail, whatever continuous date, we have to group together. Again, for success, whatever rows are there, we have to group together. If we can group them together, then we can come to this output okay so let's do it select star i will generate row number and i will tell you how i'm going to use it over partition by state underscore value so uh, sorry partition by state so because for each state i want a different group okay. order by order by date value okay so this will generate a row number i will say as r so this generated a row number if you see it generated one two three for the state success okay and then for success again it generated four right here it generated four because we have done partition on state so all the state will get the row number continuous one two three four and all the fail also got one and two now what we have to do is see if the dates are continuous and if we subtract the continuous row number they will come to a one date let me do it what i'm going to do i will say date add date add i will use to subtract the uh, row number so i want to subtract days how many days i will take this as it is okay i will multiply it with minus one because i want to subtract it okay. from where from date value as base date let's say or grouping date group date let's say let me run it now. If you see, for these three dates, I subtracted 1, 2, 3 and all came to one date. All are 31st, right? Again for this, if you see, I subtracted 1 and 2, both came to 3. Group date is 3 for both of them, right? And then this again is a separate date, right? I hope it is clear. So what we did by doing this, we created one group this, created second group this and created third group this based on group date. Now the task is simple. What I can do, that's a with uh, all dates as I will remove this, okay. select group underscore date 
I need to group on group date and state also, right? Because there are different states. And then minimum of date value as start underscore date, right? And max of date value as end date. From all dates group by group date and state right so if i run this if i run this i got the result so i just i will just sort it order by start underscore date okay so if you see i got success for first to third Fourth or fifth, we got fail, and then six to six, we got success. We don't need group date, we can remove it. Also, in our output, a state was in the last, I will put it into the last state. So, it is the same output what I showed before. First to third, success. Fourth to fifth, fail. Six to six, success. So, what is the trick we are doing here? This is the trick from the continuous date. So whenever we have to group all the continuous date together, we can subtract the continuous number from them and they will come to a base date and that we can use to group, group the data, right? I hope this is clear, very, very important trick. You will be using this in many questions. Uh, nowadays, I'm seeing many questions where this, this trick can be used, very important for the interviews. So try yourself and let me know your feedback if you have any other uh, trick let me know to solve this question and do do hit on the like button thanks for watching